What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris and I'm here with my brother-in-law Kerry. Hello. Uh, we're up at Elk Camp. We're busting our camp right now. Uh, we were just up here for eight days? Eight or nine, yeah. Eight yeah, days. something like that. And uh, we're just busting camp, getting ready to head home. Wanted to talk to you about Kerry's tent. He's been using it for the past three and a half years or so. Yeah, it's been through some terrible weather too. I think if you all seen the first review, uh, it was state, it was planted over here, and we had a river run through it the first year. Well, underneath it, not through it. This year ended up with two, three inches of snow over the whole thing. Still haven't run a stake down on it yet. Um, been in high winds, and it's done awesome. Almost to the point where I'm ready to retire it just because I'm tired of seeing it, so. <laughs> yeah, it's done really well. This is it with its fly on right now. Uh, without the fly, it actually has a pretty cool open roof design. Um, everything goes together pretty quick too. It takes maybe, if you have two people, maybe takes 10 minutes to put it up. Maybe, yeah. Super it takes fast. Takes longer to get it out of the bag and get all the poles laid out than yeah. it does to put it up. And you don't have any holes in it. I mean, we've beat this thing up. Nope. You, you don't really have any holes or anything, nope. right? camp three years, three family camping trips, couple, well, large family camping trips, and then a couple with just us, and I think there's one small hole in the floor, and that was from a chair sliding on a rock. Yeah. But that's it. The snow load uh, that this thing had a couple days ago was pretty impressive. Seriously, like two or three inches. Uh, up on it and didn't bend the frame, did nothing, and yeah. didn't leak through the fly. Shook um, it, off. it off. And it's wet snow too. It was real heavy snow this year. Right. And so. in years past, like Carrie said, lots of rain in here and um, it does really well. So, one of the cool things about it is it has the tubbed floor. Um, so, the flooring material runs up um, six inches or so before you hit a seam. And that way, if you have a little river like we've had in the past, you um, just guide it right underneath. <laughs> it just goes right underneath. You don't have to worry about it getting in. I like the door. The door is probably one of the nice features. We don't ever zip it. We just run the one flap over it. And even in high winds, that'll hold it shut. We've never had it pop open. So it kind of has a little spring in it. Not really, yeah, it's got but a shock cord here with a rubber plate and a shock cord that comes through the door. And just with it being angled back, it just makes it a pivot point. Yeah. So, so the Coleman Octagon 98 um, is what it's called. Tons of room inside. It's a little dirty because we've been walking in and out. Uh, we use this for storage primarily, sometimes for playing cards. But as you can see, you get in. And tons of headroom. It's got some nice steep walls. So you get more usable space. Um, this thing is pretty big. You also get a door back here, but that door does not, um, does not have auto, the spring. Yeah, it doesn't have the shock cords in it. It also comes with a divider sheet. Oh, okay. So you can split it into two, which is why it has the back door. We got this tent initially because my daughter, who was 15, 16 at the time, was bringing her friend camping. So they'd sleep on one side and me and the wife and the boy would sleep on the other. Right. And plenty of room in here. Yeah. I've stayed in this tent with you guys before. Yeah, we've had six, seven people in here, yeah. no problem. So here it is without the fly on, and it's just really open. I like it. This is the worst thing that's happened, and that, I think, was due to a four-year-old, a five-year-old <laughs> hit it with something. But really cool open design. Works good for a eating tent if you got a huge group. Works good if you got hot, humid weather. Just lay your bags in there, keeps all the bugs off. Um, you get a little hook up, a uh, little ring, fabric ring up top. Um, Used to have a plastic one. Yeah, that burnt because uh, we had some heat transfer <laughs> off of a lantern. That was fun that night when that fell down. Uh, but full screen side, so it gives it a nice airy feel to it. So you've had it for three and a half years. What are your plans with it now? I think it's going to become dedicated elk camp tent. Okay. So either that or I got a couple people that could really use a tent that don't have means to get one and it may get donated to them if I find a replacement for this. There you go. So after 
Three and a half years, are you pretty happy with it? Yeah, I, I was kind of worried at first because it really wasn't that expensive for as big a tent it was. Do you for, remember how much it was? I don't, I don't even, not even a clue. But I was kind of worried and all the, the guy said, oh yeah, it'll do everything you need and then some and you kind of, eh, because right. you actually get out and use the stuff, but I couldn't be happier with it. So, all right, so there you got it, guys. Uh, if you're looking into a new tent and you got a big family or uh, a big group where you need a room tent um, for you know eating in, this would be this is great for like camping in the summer and having your food in here so the bugs aren't getting and we've at you. Done that too. Yeah, so that's great. All right, give it a thought. Um, I'll have links in the description down below to a former video where we go over a ton of the features and we really talk in depth about this. Uh, that we filmed about two years ago together. Um, we'll also have links in the description where you can do some more research on Amazon. If you want, pick it up on Amazon and uh, all that good stuff. So, um, thank Hit you guys for watching. Up. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you're new to the channel, check out some of the other videos. Subscribe if you want to. And as always, thanks for getting out west with Chris. <laughs>